Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create classes in VBA. So what is a class? A class is a template for creating an object. So it's like a description of an object. And what I mean by that is going to become more clear as this video progresses. Classes have two main components, properties and methods. And I like to think of these components in terms of a language analogy. So properties are like adjectives. They describe things about the object that you are going to create from your class. And methods are like verbs. They allow the object that you're going to create from your class to do things. So for instance, say we had a person class. So that person would have properties like hair color, eye color, age, weight, height, things like that, things that describe the person. And the person class would have methods for things that a person can do, like talking, walking, eating, sleeping, things like that. Okay, so properties are like adjectives. They describe the object and methods are like verbs. They allow the object to do things. So now let's create a class so that we can see what we're talking about in action. So the first thing I wanna do is right click over here, go to insert class module. And then I'm just gonna show my properties window and I'm gonna rename this class something that makes sense for the objects I wanna create. And so I'm gonna call it CCAT. I'm gonna create a, a cat class. And so the first thing I wanna do is create some properties. So I'm gonna come up here to the insert menu and I'm gonna to go to procedure and I'm gonna change the type to property and then I'm just gonna give it a name for the property I wanna create for this cat class. And so the first thing is gonna be name. So you know the name of the cat, fluffy, pickles, what have you. And so I wanna create a private variable here. This is going to hold the name variable inside of the class and this because it's private it's not going to be visible outside of this class. It's not going to be accessible outside of this class and you'll see what I mean by that a little bit later. These here were inserted from the insert menu and this is just like the skeleton of what we call getters and setters. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about getters and setters in another video, but for now we're just gonna go through creating them so that we can see how to create properties in our class. These are very similar to functions. They're just gonna return a value. So they're gonna return the name value and this is gonna be coming from this pname variable that I set up here. And pname is gonna get set from a value that we pass in when we assign a value to this class. And I just like to call this name arg. You can keep the value they put there, or call it whatever you want. But this is just the argument that's going to get passed in when we assign a value to this property and the object that we create from this class. And again, it's going to become more clear what I mean by that. Okay, and so this is a type string. So anytime you create these from the menu, they're going to be variant. So you just need to change it to the right type. And so now we have a name property, and I'm just going to create a few more properties here. I'm going to create an age property. So I'm just going to do a find and replace, and I'm going to replace these all with age. Okay, and then I need for this, I need another one of these up here. And this is going to be an integer. So I need to remember to change a type here because I just copied it over from a string. I'm going to create one more. This one, though, is not going to, this property is not ever going to change. So all I need is the getter. I don't need this letter. So I'm just gonna copy the getter and this is gonna be um, sound. And this is just gonna be the sound that a cat makes, which is gonna be meow. Okay, so now I have three properties. And because I'm also not using this letter, I'm not assigning the value. I don't need a variable up here either. And I'm gonna create some methods. So the first method that I'm going to do is a method to have the cat say something. I'm going to have the cat speak. So this is going to be a sub. And all I'm going to do is just show a message box of what the cat is saying. I'm going to do the name of the cat, says, and then I'm going to do the sound that the cat makes. Okay, and so that's going to be something that just puts up a message box of what a cat says. And so then I'm going to put another method that is going to be just showing the cat's age. Again, I'm just going to show that in a message box. And so that's going to be, again, name of the cat is the age years old. And so now I'm going to show you how to create an object from this class. Let me create a 
create a module here and we'll just do a demo here. Okay, so I'm just going to create a cat object. So what I'm doing here is I'm declaring a variable called ccat. And this ccat variable is going to be of type c underscore cat, which is my cat class here. Um, and you can call this anything you want. I'm just calling it ccat because that's the way I do it. Um, but you call it whatever you want. Then I have another line here. And what this is doing is what's called instantiation of the class. And so I'm creating an object from this class. So let me give you an example. Let's talk about a house. Let's say I was describing to you what a house is. I told you, okay, a house is a building and it has certain properties. It has a certain number of rooms. It has a certain number of floors. It has a certain number of square footage. It has a lot that is a certain size. And now you know what a house is, but you don't actually have a house yet. But you could take that description and from that description, you could build a house and then you would actually have a house. And so that's the difference between a class and an object that is instantiated from a class, right? So I give you a template for a house. I give you a description of a house, but it's just an idea, right? It's nothing concrete. You don't have a house yet, but you can create a house from that. You can instantiate a house. You can create an instance of a house from that description that I gave you. And so that's what we're doing with classes here in VBA. And so what I'm doing here is I'm telling my program, okay, I'm going to have this object that is going to be of type cat. And I want you to save some space and memory for that. And then here I'm saying in that space and memory that you save for this cat object, now create a cat. I want you to create an actual cat object for me. And so it's going to create an object based on this blueprint, this template that we created with the C underscore cat class. And so I've done it in two lines here. And sometimes you do want to do it this way, but there's also a shorthand way that you can do this all in one line. And that would be, I put the new keyword in the dim statement. And so that when I declare the variable, I'm also instantiating a new object from the class as well. And so now I have my cat object. So now I can access the properties and methods that I created for this object. And so you see here, I have all of my properties and my methods. So you see the properties have this kind of like kind of hand, just like the, you know, the property sheet up here, the properties window, those are properties. And these little things that are kind of moving, you know, because methods do things, those are methods. So you see that we have sound here, but like we said, sound is never going to change. So we don't want that to show up here. So what I can do is I can come back here and I go to sound. You see how it's public. I change that to private. And now you see that sound is no longer there because it's private to this, this object, right? Just like these are private. So we don't see them. All we're seeing outside of this class is anything that we have declared to be public. And so now what I can do is I can set my properties for this cat. So say the cat is two, its name is Fluffy. And then I'm going to show the cat's age and I'm going to have the cat speak. And so now um, if I run this code, we see that Fluffy is two years old. Oops, we got ourselves a bug here. Let's see what happened. Oh, okay. So again, I copied this, but I didn't change a type. So this needs to be a string because meow is a string, but I have it as an integer. And so again, you got to be careful when you're copying, pasting things over, make sure you change what you're supposed to change. So let's run it again. Fluffy is two years old. Fluffy says meow. And then what I could do, you know, if I wanted to create another cat, I can set C cat equal to new C cat like I did up here, right? So now I am creating another cat object. I'm instantiating another cat object from the class. And then I can just, I do the same thing. In fact, I'm just going to copy this. So I don't have to retype it all. I'm going to change the age is going to be five and the name is going to be pickles. And now if I run this, I'm going to see both cats, right? Fluffy is two years old. Fluffy says meow. Pickles is five years old and pickle says meow. So that's basically how we create classes 
you know, and then instantiate objects from classes in VBA. And I'm going to have some more videos that are going to go over getters and setters. And I'm going to show you how to use a keyword called implements to create something called an interface. So there's going to be a lot more videos and I encourage you to check them out. Thank you for watching my video.